everyone. Thank you for tuning in for this confession. Please take it as it resonates. Leave it as it don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message. Um, so please just take it as it resonates. Leave the rest. Don't force anything with it and try to make a situation out of a situation that's not there for you, okay? <laughs> um, um, for those who are new, I am a psychic medium. Um, so if you would like to get a question, answer, you need a reading, you could definitely book one with me. All that information is listed in the description of this video. Um, there's plenty of proof out there due to um, what I can do, um, how I am as a reader. You could definitely look into past live videos, whether here or you can look into past live videos on Facebook. And also you can look into reviews as well. Alright, um, but let's jump into this confession. So let's see what's going on. What spirit wants to provide you with this? Let's see. I know it's been a minute, you guys, but bear with me. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for sticking with me. And thank you to all new subscribers. Show us a message for this collector spirit. If you would like to have, um, a daily message you could definitely uh, join the channel become a member so you can have access to daily messages okay all right show us a message all right someone wants to marry you I want to marry you what else spirit what else they want to say what else what else spirit oh god Someone could have uh, cheated. Okay, so maybe this is a past person, someone that you dealt with in the past. They could have had sex on their break um, while they were at work. Um, so now they're saying they want to marry you. For some of you, you the person that they had sex with on a break and now they want to marry you. I don't know. Take it however it resonates, guys. Show us more for this message, spirit. Karmic was lying about being pregnant. Okay, so the karmic could definitely be sometimes the karmic could be the person that the person is with. Sometimes the karmic could be the person that they are messing around with outside of a connection. Just because you're in a connection does not mean that's your person. Okay, it could be a karmic lesson within that situation. So take it however it resonates in your situation. For most, the karmic could definitely be the side person, the person that they're chasing around, messing around with. Okay. Um, but this per person could have been lying about being pregnant. Okay. So, uh, yeah. And that's when, when it all started. Okay. So maybe this person left you to, um, because they didn't want to share the news about that. Maybe they just knew how you would react or they knew they were, they were going to lose you. So they may have broken off with you because of that. Now, for some of you, you found out, um, and you broke it off with this person. But uh, kind of find out, it's coming through the confession, that that was all a lie. Alright, so they wasn't pregnant. Or something about a pregnancy was a lie here. And now they're saying they want to marry you. For some of you, it's a Taurus. Or you are a Taurus. Okay? And the ex still wants them. So it could have been an ex that they were involved with. And this ex could have been an Aries. Or you are Aries. Take it however. Or this X could have been a Leo or your Leo. Could have been a Leo because the Leo in reverse. So it could have been a Leo and someone is re releasing this person. They're saying that you are the only one there for, for me. So they want to marry you. For some of you, you are married or are married to this person. And they're saying they want to marry you. They still want to marry you. They still want to be with you. But yeah, some, some craziness going on. Alright, show us more, Spirit, for this collective message. Please show us. Show us the message for all signs, all elements. Okay. What is this, Spirit? Please show us. Alright, we have great fortune. Is this why they want to marry you? Because they see great fortune in you? Show us more. Or you just have great fortune surrounding you. Okay, a house, you have a house um, it's coming in for some of you. For some of you, it's because of your stability. They like your stability, marriage. Wow, you have marriage. <laughs> so 
oh yeah, they want to marry you, they want to have a family with you, they see great fortune, or this person feel like they would be more fortunate with you. Okay. A thief due to a child. Yeah. Exactly. So this karmic was a thief. This karmic was trying to steal your man or steal your like whatever. Okay. But this person was trying to take your partner due to a pregnancy, lie about a pregnancy so they can, you know, take this person away from you, get their focus off of you. Um, someone's birthday could be on the 26th of any month. Someone's birthday could be on the 20th of any month. On the 3rd of any month. Someone's birthday could be March 20th or March 26th. Or the number 8 could be significant for someone as well. Show us more on this energy spirit. For the collector. Ooh, someone is losing hope or faith though. That she would give them another chance. Yeah, they want to speak to you. They want to talk to you. So if this person is losing hope that you will give them another chance. They don't think you will. So they're feeling a little stuck. So things are stagnant right now. Not much going on. The tail may here. Show us more. Yeah, this person is not reaching out. But they want to talk. They want to communicate. They want to speak their truth. But there's no message that's getting through. Either because you have this person blocked and you're not responding. Or you're just not. You're, you're leaving them on red. You're just not responding to the message if you don't have them blocked. Some of you are Pisces or Aquarius could be involved here as well. Yes, you may have them blocked. Okay, seven of wands. So you may have this person blocked like, nah, I'm good. You ain't recognize my worth then. I'm not about to give you another chance. Oh, you see my worth now and I should welcome you back in? No. No. So someone is like, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good on you. I'm blocking you. I don't need you in my energy. I know I, I'm better than that. And I'm moving on. So someone could be letting it go. Or this person is aware of this. Yeah, someone was just in. in this person could have been playing you for some time. And they're, they, just got, they just got with the right person. Or the wrong person. <laughs> the wrong right person. And this has turned this story around. But it, it actually turned it around where... It brought some light to the situation. Now you can move on. You have moved on. But this could have been something that was going on for some time. And this person is just in a really negative state of mind right now. They're feeling at a loss. Because they, they, they lost the best thing they ever had. Yep. The best thing they ever had. A true soulmate. Two of cups. Nine of cups. This is something that they wish for. They pray for. And they got it. And they ruined it. So it looks like um, someone just in their sorrows. They went down the wrong path. They chose to do something that was just not right. It was not meant for them to do this. Someone could have been listening to someone who was um, giving them bad advice. Um, keeping them in a negative state of mind here. And now they're stuck. They don't, that's possibly why they're not reaching out. But this is what they're saying through this confession. This is how they want, they, they, this is what they want to confess to you. This is what they want to say to you. I want to marry you. Um, yes, I did mess up. I cheated with someone at work while I was on lunch break or on any break. Um, and kind of found out they're pregnant. They got pregnant and I... I fled from you because of the situation or um, this or you turned them down when you found out and you said look I'm done I'm good with this and they're wanting that they're wanting this back but they know they can't have it they feel like it's a loss yeah they need to work on themselves someone could be just too much of a player or just like you know likes to have their cake and eat it too type want to uh 
instead of putting focus on what's more important, they was putting focus on the wrong things. And that's just what it is. But they were wanting another chance. They want to renew this with you. But you're closed off. You're closed off. So, yeah. It don't look like this is coming back around. Whoever this is, they just got a dream of having a marriage with you or continuing a marriage with you. Either way, it's it's, it's not. It's a no-go. Someone re received some advice from someone and it was the wrong advice. If they listened and followed their intuition, then they would have been on the right path. But someone didn't. They allowed others to be in their ear about how to handle this. Or this karmic was the person that was in their ear. Like, oh, if you don't, it could have been like, if you don't leave her, I'm going to tell her this or that. and Or it could have been more to that story. But um, it still don't make this person right for what they did. They knew what they were doing when they did it. Any other messages? They want to get you pregnant. Something backfired. So, yeah, whatever this karmic was trying to do, it backfired. And they actually, they want to get you pregnant. Some of you, it's a Virgo. And you make them happy. Pregnant. Someone could be pregnant now. Maybe you like, uh, it's too late. I'm already pregnant by my person that is meant for me, that is treating me right, doing me right, <laughs> literally. <laughs> but this could be what you're saying, or this is uh, possibly just the energy of them wanting to, you know, get you pregnant. Wants to get you pregnant, pregnant, backfire. So a pregnancy could have backfired. And the backfire is that this person still wants you or wants to be married to you and want a pregnancy with you jail yes i tapped and hacked your phone someone could have tapped into your phone hacked your phone and jail someone could have went to jail or this could be the the mental jail okay that eight of swords energy that came out mother really loves you someone's mother actually loves you i was protecting you from the karmic they threatened to hurt you so that that's where i was going with the um so whatever that this karmic said to them to keep them away from you that could have been the situation this person may want to come in and tell you that they had to go to jail as well maybe the person there the person okay someone whoever they were dealing with could have been tapping into their phone um and there's they could have seen that they were still involved with you still wanting you or whatever and they sabotaged the situation by pretending like they were pregnant or something but they're wanting you to know look i want to see you i want to be with you so for some of you this person want another chance they could have had a major financial loss because of this and they said i'm sorry i left yeah so this person may have left you or you you may have you know pushed this person away but they they didn't fight for it they didn't try to fight for it so you, it made you want to leave even more Secrets on top of secrets. Plenty of them, yeah. Karmic is so envious of you. They hate you. Mm -hmm. I'm tr I'm trying to protect you from my ex. Same situation keep coming up. So this definitely could be a situation where this person messed around with an ex. This ex is the karmic. The karmic claims to be pregnant. This ex um, threatened the person, your person, that if they were to stay with you, go back to you, then they're going to um, sabotage it by uh, either telling them something, whatever, telling them maybe about the pregnancy or telling them about uh, about something else that you may not know of because it was secrets on top of secrets. And then for some of you, they just, like I said, they threaten you, I mean, threaten this person to hurt you, okay? So, um this person you know they didn't want maybe this this person apparently know how crazy this person is so that's why they left but they're saying i'm sorry i left basically i'm sorry i left i wish i would have told you the truth i wish i would have told you what was going on i wish i would have told you what what this person said and did so they're looking at it differently like dang i, I could have handled that differently i didn't have to 
uh, walk away like that. Because, yeah, this person could be a lunatic, whoever that they were dealing with. But um, it could have, he could have, or she could have, however this is, could have fought through this in a different way. Show us a message here for this collective. For the collective, all elements of the air, water, fire, pertaining to this. Wow, hammer wanted to come out. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working out. So, yeah, this person definitely sabotaged this connection with you. Um, it could have been because of an ex, and then the ex is right behind it. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandon. <laughs> so, this person may want to stop this. Um, maybe this person, um, I don't know, you just, you gave up. You gave up on the situation. I don't blame you. I would have to, okay? But I, I kind of feel for this person because at the same time, they were dealing with a crazy, crazy ex or whoever they were dealing with, this karmic. And um, they didn't know how to deal with it. They dealt with it the best way that they thought they could, you know. But at the same time, they still um, they still took that opportunity to deal with this ex. It wouldn't, you know, it maybe it would have been more different and more, I would have been more, it would have been more sympathy if, you and this person was together and they did not cheat on you with this person but this ex just reappeared karmic reappeared trying to threaten and cause problems then yeah you're gonna stick by your man stick by your woman and try to square that away but in this situation this person actually cheated with this ex actually went and dealt with this ex sexually and by doing that, it just caused the situation to become more heated because this person was already crazy over your person. So it just intensified it. And this person was so um, afraid of you knowing what they did or how they went about this situation. So they just possibly just left this behind, left you behind. And now they're, now they're wishing that they had another chance with you. But they're losing hope. They don't have any hope. They feel like they lost their opportunity with you. 1717. Um kisses unconditionally loving giving a receiving giving and receiving affection falling in love heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving mourning yeah this person is mourning you but they i don't feel like they um hold on we have a card that flew i don't feel like they understand how much this have hurt you um and they're just feeling the hurt now you may have healed or you're still healing maybe you you made some growth and throughout throughout this situation um some of you you may have completely healed and just went forward and said hey you know but um this this person i don't feel like they really realize how much that they really hurt you they know they may have disappointed you for sure but they didn't they may not know how much they hurt you like you could have been sick you could have been sick for days sick for for weeks for months you know you could have it could have been a struggle for you to you know ha have that push to move forward because you so this could have been a, a, a deep soulmate connection and this person do realize it was a soulmate um that you are a soulmate of theirs that they should have continued this connection with that's why they want to marry you um healing heart healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationships or addiction so i feel like this person um you could have started healing or you're healing now but also I'm, I'm i'm really getting so much of this person because this is a confession so this person is wanting to confess to you how they feel how they think um about this situation what they need to tell you all right so this person could be feeling like you know uh it's time for me to grow up it's time for me to leave the past in the past, it's time for me to stop dealing with toxic people. I knew this person was toxic. Why did I have sex with them again? Why did I deal with them? So someone here is like, I need to I need to let go of toxic relationships and go towards what I really want. But there is fear here. It's fear because they have really hurt you. Um, they they really disappointed you in the past. So I feel like this person, um, may fear it's a chance that they would never have you back again we have clock need time takes time and time cycle time to heal progress yeah this person just needs to really go through their healing process if it's meant for you and this person to come back together then it will be but if it's not then this person needs to learn their lesson out of this situation okay but yeah
Let's see anything goes. <laughs> as soon as I look, look what I got. Confession. <laughs> Confession. Someone has something to tell you. They want to tell you everything, okay? Um, they'll be back. Okay. Expect to hear from them soon. So they are planning this now. They look fearful though. They are fearful. It's not like I'm going to get my wife or my husband. It's like I don't know. They probably ain't gonna pick up the phone. They're not gonna answer the door. Then like yeah. Hey, we got confession. They'll be back. Moving, change of residence, moving in with your partner. Commitment. Things are getting serious. Ooh. Someone is spying though. I feel like this karmic, whoever they're leaving, maybe they're leaving this karmic behind to come towards their true love. Let's see. Show us more, spirit. For the, okay. Give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. So something is changing. So for some of you, a lot of you, you and this person is going to come back together. Mercury retrograde. This is definitely giving me the energy of just someone from the past returning. Spy. <laughs> they could be spying on you. Trying to, you know, test that temperature. Trying to see like, okay, do I do I have a chance now? Are they saying anything that will make me feel like I got a chance? Are they are they are they posting anything to make me feel like okay. So yeah, they're spying. They're trying to test that temperature so they can know when to make a move or how to make a move. Patience. Just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait. So patience is needed. For some of you are you're wanting this lover to return. They are. And it's meant. It's because someone else is in the mix. Wow. Then I say that this karma, this third party is in the mix of this connection. So a lot of you, this is supposed to come back together. And it will. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. Some of you could have a pet. Um, maybe this is something you've been thinking about doing or no. Let's see, no, no pets. All right, so you can't have a pet or this one. <laughs> well then, no pets, okay? No pets or say no to pets or... <laughs> How, what are, what, what, that's a message, that, that may not be everyone's message, but that's definitely a narcissist. Yeah, they could have a narcissist on their hands. Someone is too full of themselves. Affirmation. Gold digger. Oh, they're dealing with someone that want, want money from now, I'm trying to, so that could have been a situation too. We have cycles, fate, karma. Something ending, something beginning. So this cycle it is wrapping up. Okay. So. Yeah. So for a lot of you, you're about to come back together with whoever this is. Okay, you about to come back together or give it some time, like I said. Give it time. It's not going to be right away, but it will be. It's just some things that need to be cleared up before they come back together. Because, of course, spirit don't want you to keep going through heart, heartbreak, pain, you know. And this person needs to realize some things so they won't, you know, have this occur again. Um, Let me get some charms. Actually, no. Since this is love, I wanna, I wanna give some more messages pertaining to this love situation. So I feel like this person is clearing up their karmic debt and returning to you. Show us a message. It's like, because they, whoever this is, they see great fortune in you. This don't have to be like money-wise, material. 
This could be just who you are and what you mean to them. They sense that soulmate connection. They sense a strong connection with you and they realize, man, I messed up some good things. So they really want this back with you. So that great fortune is having you in their life. Their great fortune is having you two coming together, being married, okay? But it's like this person also needs to work on their 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 confidence due to this. Because I feel like it's, it's this fear is what's holding them back. But at the same time, it needs to play out this way. Because it's some things that they still need to clear up with this karmic ex that's tagging along like a pet. Okay, that's the pet. Okay, for some of you, <laughs> um, show us a message here pertaining to the collective spirit gifts. So they feel like you you are a gift for them. If they just have another chance with you, they would be like super happy. Like they feel like you are that special prize. Now, for some of you, this person may want to shower you with gifts because of, you know, being apart from you and now them seeing who you really are to them and they find you very precious to them. Show us more. Communication. It could be kind of like not so much right now with the communication coming out like this, but they do want to communicate with you. I do feel like you're waiting. You could be whoever I'm speaking to could be waiting not necessarily, okay, you just waiting on your phone. But you want to hear from them. Okay, you do. Whoever whoever message this is. But they um they think you don't. That's the thing. That's that's the problem. Instead of them just taking a chance, taking that risk, they're really hesitant due to fear. Show us more on his love situation spirit. Exactly. This person may feel like you have new love. They may feel like you have new love possibly because you're beautiful, you're attractive. They may feel like, uh, they're not waiting on me, you know, especially after what I did to them or whatever. So they feel like you may have new love already. And that may not be the case for some. It may. Shoot. You may have just moved on. But if you did, it looked like this coming back around. Okay? It's, it's, it's meant. It's, that's just, it's destiny. Okay? So, but um, for some of you, they just want new love with you, okay? Some of you could have a uh, brunette hair. Like, you could you could actually resemble this or have dark, dark hair. You could also have orange hair, blonde hair. Um, but, yeah, someone just feel like, nah, you, you too beautiful. It must be someone else that you're wanting. Okay, beauty queen and dating queen. All right, so they may look at you like this, but you could just be chilling at home by yourself. <laughs> like, but they think you just out there dating everybody or whatever because you're attractive. But if you're divine, you know you're not about to just be dealing with everybody. You know, of course, everybody may send you a message. Hey, I want to date you. I want to take you out. I want to blah, blah, blah. No, that don't mean you say yes to everybody. But this person is just insecure right now. They need to... Um, strengthen that they need to come out of this karmic cycle with this karmic past heal themselves and then come together with you okay um i feel like you have already started your healing process for some of you you have healed from a, from that situation healed from a lot of things but we're never done healing as long as we're working and walking this earth as long as we're here we're still going to heal it's always something to heal from it's still things that we need to work on um but yeah i feel like this person is viewing you um, very attractive and that, like, others may want you um, and you're not just going to wait on them or you, you know. But like I said, some of you, you're chilling. You're not even thinking about another lover because your heart's still with this person. But they don't know that. They think they think that you're over them completely. They feel like you're their true gem. They feel like you're, you're cold towards them. You, yeah, you're distant towards them with the wallflower and the um, ice, ice queen. Yeah, they feel like you just cut them off and you're not really associate, associating yourself with them. They may feel like you just ghosted them. <laughs> okay. A couple more.
my cards and then we'll be done. Well, it didn't end so bad. It's actually okay. It's a good message. It's just this person, at least they're recognizing their faults. They're knowing what they did wrong in this situation. And the good thing is they're not looking for sympathy because they are aware that they did something wrong. But they need to just work on their urges. Um, if they know that you're a good person for them, they know you that true gem, they, knew, they know you are their soulmate, then they need, to, they need to recognize that and cherish it. But I feel like they, if they, it's like if you give them one more chance, they're going to cherish this. Because the loss of you made them wake up. Show us a message. Guided, guided steps to great love. Follow the path of ascension. Oh. And what else, Spirit? Healing connection. Your romance will transform your life. So you both are healing. You both are going through a healing process. It may be different stages. You know, you may be on different levels, but it's still being done. Psychic connection. Your communication goes beyond mere words. You and this person have psychic abilities. So you could be psychic, this person could be psychic, or you are just telepathically connected. You know, when you just think of this person, it may you may be thinking like, oh, you're just thinking of them, but it may be a thought of what they're actually doing at that current time or how they feeling at that current time or um, the dreams that you're having of that person. This person could be having similar dreams of you. So that's that psychic connection. For some of you, you and this person may have psychically connected in the past. Maybe you have spoken to this person about certain things, and they was like, wow, you know, I've seen that too, or I dreamed that too, or or um, they may have, was maybe you called them, or you have called them, and they're like, I was just thinking about you, like, and you just called, like, <laughs> you know, that's that psychic connection. Um. So, yeah, you're just very in tune with each other because you're supposed to be together. Mm. Yeah, so they find you very magnetic. There is a gravitational pull to each other. I feel like it's to each other. It's like I have to have, I have to have my person back. Signs and clues. The universe is talking to you. So it's all type of signs and clues that's guiding you to this person or letting you know, hey, you know, this connection is coming back around, reaching out, expect a call or text from your person of interest. So however they reach out, whether they send a message through phone, send a message through social media, uh, knock at your door, okay, shoot, however this is, but they're going to be reaching out, but I don't feel like they're doing it right now, but they will. They will, because they're being guided to you. You both are being guided to each other. Time apart. Yeah, it came out in reverse. A time of separation is about to come to a close. That's the, y'all about to come back together. This separation is in reverse. So, wow. Marriage. Wedding bells are ringing. You're going to marry this person. Some of you, you have been married, and you're coming back together, and you're healing your marriage. Um, But, yeah, this is, this is uh, your person. Divine time and it's a, oh my goodness, you are worthy. This person is realizing that you are worthy. We have divine timing. You are worthy. Your worth doesn't depend on the other person. And for some of you, you may have friends on this person, but this is this allow this person to wake up, and they want to rekindle this connection with you because they realize this is a twin flame union soulmate connection. Wow. They want to honestly communicate with you, as mentioned in the beginning of the reading. They want to tell you everything, like what you what you know of, what you think you know of, what you what what you don't know. They want to tell you, just lay it all out on the table, because they do not ever want to be without you again. Love language, quality time, be the witness to each other's lives. Falling in love, you're gonna be falling falling in love. Physical connection, the sacred union of bodies, two becoming one. Wow. Whew. Yeah. That is it. 
I hope you all enjoyed this reading. Receive some clarity due to your situation. Um, don't forget to like. Go ahead and like. And don't forget to comment below too. Talk to me about this situation. Um, or what resonated with you in this situation as well. Um, and if you are new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get more messages from me. And again, for all those who are needing or wanting a daily message, I am here daily. So you can get a daily message and, well, Monday through Friday mainly, but sometimes the weekends as well. But um, I do give messages to my members um, for daily messages or whatever. So you could definitely tune, I mean, tune in. You can um, uh, become a member by joining the channel. If you don't see the join button, um, you can, it's a link in the description of this video where it says join to become a member, or if you're using like a tap, uh, I think a tablet, but for sure a computer or a laptop, you should be able to join. If you have any complications with joining, it may be because you're on your phone, um, but once you join, it shouldn't be any issue. Um, you could use your phone after that. It's just the process of joining. So, yeah, you definitely want to do that if you want to get messages on a daily basis, especially since I haven't been able to give so much um, to the collective. Um, I'm still recovering myself uh, from, um, if you know, then you know. But, yes, you guys, so join the channel if you want more of me, more messages. And until next time, you guys, many blessings.